Hey everybody, Pat here with Farland Classic Restoration. Happy Farland Friday. We are down here in the showroom today, giving you an update on all the fun. Joining us over here on the clean side of the shop. To get started today, we'll actually start over in this corner here with the 2017 Maserati Gran Turismo. This was one we sold uh, last year for one of our great customers here in town. Uh, he's done some time with it enjoyed the convertible and the lovely red interior and now it's looking for its next owner so this one will be going up on the site soon the lovely 2017 Maserati Gran Turismo this was one we actually recently took down to the springs um, working with our friends down at mod finishes down there in the springs they did some work on the calipers. I'm gonna try and find a good shot of them. Refreshing those calipers, right? And getting that Maserati logo all throughout. And then we did put some new wheels and tires on it just uh, probably three or four weeks ago, so. 2017 Maserati Gran Turismo. I really, really like the red in here. It's tough on those red interiors. Sometimes they can be a bit baboon butt, but this one is pretty darn cool. From red interiors to red exteriors, we'll move over to the 599 GTV. This one does have that GTE handling package, as well as a few options throughout. One cool one that uh, Bill, our head of sales, was showing me last week. This was uh, a model he would have sold new back in the day. He was telling me that this was one of the first cars designed in Ferrari's wind tunnel. And because of it, the air is channeled out through the hood vent there, down along the body, either through this mirror or down underneath the mirror, and then up through that floating pillar there. So kind of some active downforce while you're out on the track, or even just enjoying this one out on the roads. The 599 GTB. Has that Alcantara interior. You can see the inserts there. Try and get you some ideas here. Two owner car, bought originally down in Florida, and then purchased from that same dealer from the second owner, for the second owner. Take a glance inside the driver's side here as well. And again, that GTE handling package. You've got the prancing horse on the seats there, and then that uh, Alcantara. You can see on the underside of the wheel, and then it has that LED lighting system letting you know when to shift gears. And again, the F1 transmission, kind of a later design with the uh, the button system rather than the shifter as we saw in the 330 and 575 that recently left i'm sorry not 330 360 spider all right spinning around here the alfa romeo montreal we did do a video with our friends over at colorado cars and coffee on this one showing off the classic cool style from this Bertoni design. We also just saw one of these going up on Bring a Trailer. Very similar mileage, but it is a gray example. So we'll be keeping an eye on that one, seeing where the market is at on these classic Alpha Montreals. This is one of my favorite dashes here in the showroom. All sorts of information, of course, in that lovely Italian for you. And then that's two in a row there that has the uh, uh, the radio that is filled in with the manufacturer or some branding. I was trying to get my head straight there while I was figuring out what I'm trying to say here. But you can see that one's just a cover here in the Ferrari. This does have a radio. Whereas in the Alpha, that one was not optioned with the radio originally, so. Keeps that body looking nice, right? No antenna. 
the Alfa Romeo Montreal. Again, if you want to find any of these cars, they are over on our site at farlandcars.com. Beside that one is one of my very favorites to show up here at the shop. This is a 1989 Porsche 911. 930 Turbo. One of, I believe it's around 100 produced in 1989 in the US spec with the M505 option code for the slant nose headlight design. This is absolutely one of the best 911s we've seen here in the shop. Makes me wish we had that white 89 Speedster in here. Those two would look great together. This one is very well optioned. I was looking through. Uh, original options include driver and passenger heated seats. Uh, few other little things, right? Of course, that 505 option code and a G50 short shifter, which was another factory option there. That hood is kind of popped right now, but we'll be replacing the battery on this one and then should be getting that one up for sale here in the next little bit. The lovely 1989 Porsche 911 Turbo. Beside that one, hanging around in the Porsche gang, is the 2017 Macan GTS. This is one we recently sold to one of our very great clients. It's funny, we're actually restoring a few of this owner's cars right now, so he'll be coming out to check on the progress of those restorations. And we'll be filling this one up with deck lids and hoods from the projects, so he can take those home with him. The 2017 Macan GTS. I think this one is locked, we'll see. Oh, there we are. We'll at least take a gander in here. Just under 17,000 original miles. You can see in the passenger seat there, we have that original window sticker. Again, that paint to sample in the fantastic Viper Green. From one green Viper to another, we'll move from 2017 all the way back to 1955 with the Chevrolet Corvette. This is one I don't believe we've even shown off with the convertible top up. That was one of the last big things to get done on this restoration. Pretty extensive restoration here in house. You can see there's still a few little things, right? We're waiting for hubcaps. And there is a little more trim to this convertible top. Just waiting on a few little trim pieces. I believe this may be one of the ones getting changed out there. But then we will be all finished up with the 1955 Chevrolet Corvette. Again, this is that rare one year only harvest yellow. And again, being a 55, the V is accentuated, being the first year of the V8 in the Chevy Corvette. We'll get a glance at both the Corvettes here in the showroom. 55, 91. Nice big gap in there. From there, we'll spin over to the other side. We'll come back around to the Mistral Corvette and the S600. This is one of the newer ones of the shop as well. The 1960 Bentley S2. If you've been following along for a while now, you'll know that late last year we sold a 55 Rolls Royce. Very similar looking body style. A lot of similarities throughout the front end here from headlights, that sort of stuff. This one does have that big V8 where the rolls had an inline six. Also pop the door, look around in here. Bill was telling me it's very uncommon to see them restored with full new leather interior. So it's very cool to see in this one. 
oftentimes we'll end up with vinyl or he was saying sometimes we'll even see cloth in here but cloth was never originally offered in the Bentley a few more little cleanup things you can see we've got the, the car cover sitting in the back there enough to cover a small village then you have your mirror in the rear C pillar there get all your checks done before you head out into town shut that one over for now. The 1960 Bentley S2. This one will be going up over on the site soon. All sorts of cool trim back here as well. All sorts of English finesse. And then from the English barge to the American barge, we'll move over to the 1952 Hudson Hornet. This was an extensive 18-month restoration here in the shop. Again, this is one just waiting on a family reunion, so when the family gets back together, we'll be taking this one out and getting some photos. One of the coolest ones on this car is the interior. I really love that unique color pattern, very 1950s. You can see I'm also leaving the door closed here just because these seals are a little stronger. We're giving them time to set in. So aside from that, we will spin over to the other 2017 here in the showroom, the Mercedes Benz S600, the big V12 by turbo. We'll hop in for a minute. Haven't been in here in a minute. Squeeze our way in here. Oh, I haven't sat in the back seat of this one very much. Cool to see all that blue accent lighting. And immediately you can tell how much quieter it is in here than out there in the showroom. Try not to breathe too loud. Another one that's really tough to see, but down here in the footwell, these seats do have feet bolstering. So you can kind of tell underneath here, there's one pressed up against my legs there. So definitely a luxurious place to hang out. Wouldn't mind cruising the country from back here. And of course you have all your seat controls for the rear passenger, everything from Heated and cooled seats to, looks like that one can lay you all the way out flat there. So, nice place to take a nap. And then of course you have, what, four controls there for each window. I'm sure these are some kind of blinds and then that must be maybe either rear passenger window. Not too sure on that one. Oh, look at that. Look at all that color there. Red and blue and yellow and orange and green and slant nose. Do my best not to swing this door out into the Corvette. That's my favorite part of the live stream is the weird moments where I'm climbing in and out of cars. All right, besides that, last two of the day are the 1991 Chevy Corvette ZR1. Again, this one was called King of the Hill internally at Chevrolet, being it was both the most, the fastest and most powerful Corvette ever built at the time. This one is very low mileage. You can see we have a color match top and then this um, kind of see-through top. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it there. Yeah, very cool. And then of course, classic GM interior here, 91. All sorts of electronics. That's a good shot there. Look at that. Showing off all the goods. And then my favorite in here is the very 1980s in seat seat adjustments. I 
Other than that, we have our friend, the Maserati Mistral. Just waiting for a bit more work from down in the shop. And then this one will be going up on the site. Plenty of Maserati fun lately from the Gran Turismo that recently came in to the Ghibli that is also available over on the site. We're addressing the headlight bucket motors. And now the Mistral. A little shorter spin around the showroom here today. But as always, I'll finish us out with naming everything as fast as I can. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ready? Three, two, one. 2017 Maserati Gran Turismo. I don't know the year on the 599 GTB. The 72 Alfa Romeo Montreal. The 89 Porsche 930 Slant Nose. 2017 Macan. 1955 Chevrolet Corvette. The Maserati Mistral. The King of the Hill ZR1. The S600 by Turbo V12. The 1952 Hudson Hornet. The 1960 Bentley S2. And of course, that's going to do it for Farland Fun here on this Friday. Thanks so much for stopping by. Again, if you want to catch up with more of our metal moving through the shop and showroom be sure to go follow us over on facebook as well as instagram here on youtube and that's gonna do it this has been pat go check us out over at farlandcars.com thanks